In this video, we will learn how to find equilibrium price and quantity in case of linear demand and non-linear supply function. The question is, given demand and supply functions is, quantity demanded is a function of price that is QD is equal to 8 minus P and quantity supplied is also the function of price and here we have quantity supplied is equal to minus 4 plus P square, okay? This is the linear demand function and this is a non-linear supply function because P is raised to the power two okay we need to find out the equilibrium price and quantity and also sketch the graph okay now as we know in case of equilibrium okay so at equilibrium at at equilibrium we know demand demand should be equal to supply Okay, this is our demand function. Demand function and this is our supply function. Okay, that means here uh, quantity demanded is equal to 8 minus P, quantity supplied is this. Since LH is the same, we can equate the RHS. That implies 8 minus P should be equal to minus 4 plus P square. Okay. So if this is the case, we need to solve this thing and let me save the space here. So 8 minus P is equal to minus 4 plus P square. Uh, so I can write this as, you know, minus 4 plus P square is equal to 8 minus P. Okay. Or I can write it as P square minus 4 is equal to 8 minus p or p square transpose this here it will become positive and it will get added so we have p then we have minus 4 if i transpose it it my plus 8 will become minus 8 so we have minus 4 minus 8 is equal to 0 so we have p square plus p minus 12 is equal to 0 this is a quadratic equation we need to solve this thing now we can do one thing, we can split the middle term. Middle term is P and its coefficient is 1. So we should get the sum of two numbers in such a way that their addition is equal to 1. And the product of the same two numbers should be equal to the constant term that is minus 12. Okay, so you can do some guess here. And it is very simple. If I write 4 minus 3 so 4 minus 3 is 1 and 4 into minus 3 is minus 12 so both conditions are satisfied so i can write uh, let me save the space so i can write p square okay in place of p i will write 4p minus 3p and in place of minus 12 i can write uh, you know 4 uh, into minus 3 should be equal to 0 which implies let's take p uh, you know common in the first two terms so we have p uh, p uh, plus 4 then and let's take minus 3 common in the last two terms so we are left with p plus 4 okay should be equal to 0 which implies either p or let's take uh, p plus 4 common now so we are left with p minus 3 and we set it equal to 0 which means either either p plus 4 is equal to 0 or p minus 3 is equal to 0. If p plus 4 is equal to 0, it implies p will be equal to transpose it here, it will become negative 4. And if p minus 3 is equal to 0, it implies p will be equal to plus 3. Okay. Obviously, price cannot be negative, so we can take the positive uh, price here, that is p is equal to 3. Now to find the equilibrium quantity corresponding to the price of 3, simply plug P is equal to 3 either in demand or supply function. Let us put it into the demand function to make it more easy. So Q will be equal to 8 minus, so equilibrium uh, price is 3. So that gives us equilibrium quantity is 5. Okay. Now graphically how do we saw, you, you know, show it? Let me try to show. So 
so we have a graph like this okay we have quantity demanded on the horizontal side price on the vertical side we have linear demand function okay when p is equal to sorry when q is equal to zero okay p will be equal to eight so its intercept will be eight here so it is negative slope here so this is our demand function uh, let me write like this let us say this is our demand function okay and in case of supply function when p is equal to zero sorry when q is equal to zero p is equal to minus four okay so the intercept is here minus four so it will if p is equal to zero q will be minus four so it will be like this we have this point and we have the quadratic one it will uh, look like this okay i'm just trying to draw it in this manner so this is our supply function now uh, demand and supply functions intersect at two points at this point when price is you know three which is positive and at this point when price we got here minus four obviously price cannot be negative so only this point is into this point is actually our feasible point and corresponding quantity demanded is for you here okay so this is how do we draw the graph of this kind of function i hope i make myself clear thank you